Hey everyone, Kenny Tony coming at you today. We got this quick video for you. Man, daylight is hard to come by. It's about 3.30 and it's already, sun's going down and everything, starting to get a little cloudy and overcast looking. But we have a little bit of work done to the Raptors today and I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of where we are with them. It's been a little bit since we've done anything. Last video, we had the motors back in. We had everything cleaned up and looking good. These machines don't require a whole, whole lot in order to get back to where they look like they're functional. So after you put the exhaust on and you put the oil cooler and you put the wiring harness, I mean, everything comes together super quick. And surprisingly, they both have made a lot of progress. So I'm gonna flip this camera over real quick and let you all know what we've done, where we're at, and what we're gonna be doing in the future. So we went ahead and lined all the Raptors up on the trailer because, you know, I'm getting some progress done with them. One, two, three, and you see four and five, my sons and daughters, but these are the other ones. So this is the first Raptor 250 that we ended up picking up. I mean, everything looks a whole, whole lot better. We have the motor. We just hit it with that aluminum brightener. There is a video up with that. So if you're actually concerned or want to just take a look at it, it works wonders. We painted the frame on this one, it looks real good. We are gonna do something with the wheels and the rim, so we're gonna figure that out. It's gonna be kind of cheap sale, so you know maybe it's gonna be for sale and only thing it's gonna need is some tires on it. However, we're gonna get the back plastics coming in the mail, I have a new seat cover put on it. The front plastics, I'm gonna try to do the heat thing to them again, see if I can take a little bit of this stress out of them. But overall, they look real good. Starts right up, no problem. Key on start button boom now just looking right here you will see this starter so i purchased this starter right here from rocky mountain atv it completely sucks it was a hundred and like twenty dollars or something like that so i'm going to contact them and see what i can do about it um it did not have enough crank to turn it over with the choke on for some reason now does that sound like a starter issue i have no idea but it started over noticeably slower than the other one i took this switch the starters over and then this one fires up no problem choke on or choke off no problem this one is going to be going to my boy that i know local we already have it cleaned up looking really good we're still just waiting on the cylinder as the last thing uh cylinder piston rings all that stuff is going to be coming in and then we're going to have this one wrapped up but we have these two so plastics tires i'm going to put in the headlights on that one too this one here was the worst of the raptor 250s that i had it was not even together it was just basically the frame and the chassis sitting there all kind of in different parts when i finish this all up i'm going to have these silver rims here the aluminum ones on the blue quad this one's going to have black on it it's going to have the black plastics as well but we already have this one dressed up and cleaned as well Let's see if i turn my key on here key on fires right up just like the other no problems at all Yeah, basically I've gotten a lot of progress done so far. So on this one, what all do we need to finish it up? Everything on the bars is good. I'm gonna have to take the master cylinder apart, re-bleed it, the plunger's kind of stuck, and then we're gonna have the brakes to bleed. We're gonna get that done here soon enough. We have a straight steering stem, we have bushings, we have all that. I'm gonna powder coat the foot pegs, get those back on there. I already have new, brake master cylinders for the rear i am waiting on one hose to come for this side so then once we get all that on there we'll get the rear brakes on as well so we'll have the rear brakes to be done we'll have the front brakes that needs to be bled we're going to put the headlights on and then the rear plastics then this one will be pretty much done until we figure out what to do with these rims so what the rims are going to be basically is i'm just going to 
take the rims off the bead and I'm gonna powder coat them black. And we're gonna walk over here and just take a look at my son's. He has the other 250 and we're just gonna look at the tires that are on it. So here's his 250 right here. The tires have a little bit of tread left, nothing crazy, but it'll be fine for this project that we're gonna be selling. So we're gonna get these tires on those rims. We're gonna actually put some other 19 inch front tires, the same ones that we have on over here. These are the Bazooka, Sedona Bazookas. We're gonna put those on the front here. We have the, the 18 inch, Claw MXRs from, who makes these? 18 inch Claw MXRs. They're multiple directional tire based off of what you're gonna be running in. So right here on the back of the tire, it says soft and hard. So you run them in which direction based off what you're gonna be riding on. So these plastics will be the ones that are gonna go onto the other quad. But we'll just take a look to see what we're going to be having going with it and just keep this moving forward. So let's get back over here to these. But I think that's going to be what's going to end this quad. It's just like I said, plastics, headlights, foot pegs, brakes, bled. Over here, we have all that stuff done. I did just go ahead and take the Raptor 250 seat off my son's and put it on here. I'm going to ask my friend if he wants it. Because once I redo my sons over the winter, it's going to be a whole different color scheme and this isn't going to match. So I'd rather just go ahead and let him have that seat cover and the whole thing rather than just tossing it. But I don't really think he's going to have a problem with that. What do we have left to do with this one? Basically just the cylinder and then start kicking on it. Well, cranking on it. And that is going to be about it for this one. Everything else is done and ready to roll. It just needs to be cleaned up pretty good in the last official shine before I give it to him. And there we go. Here, as I stated, the black and red plastics are gonna go on here. We're gonna get this one all cleaned up and dressed up. One of the things I see that is missing on this quad is up here, the light switch needs to be replaced which is no huge thing so i gotta put that led up there they did cut the wires off for the headlights as you see right here these wires have been cut so this is low beam high beam and ground on both of the harness sides so what i'm going to do is strip that back add some more wire and put new plugs on so we can put the headlights on 90% sure that I'm going to take the headlights off of both these quads and put them on because we're not going to be running headlights on those anymore. We're going to have more of this style look and I'm going to do the handlebars up top with the light bar on it like I have on my hybrid. You know, we don't really do I mean, we don't really do a whole whole bunch of night riding. I mean, absolutely like zero night riding. Yeah. But for those times that it does get dark and, the, and it's starting to go down and the kids want to ride a little longer, it's always best to have the light on it. The factory lights they really don't put out much output. They just give it the complete look of being a Raptor. And besides that, the light bar is going to be far superior and you're going to be able to aim it with the headlight, with the handlebar. So where you're pacing the handlebars is where you're going to be going rather than the machine. So back when I used to ride and I go around a curve sideways, now all of a sudden you can't see in front of you because the machine's facing over here. Anyways, back to this one. So we're gonna get the headlights done and put back on. We also need to get the mounts for the headlights. So as you see, this one doesn't have any mounts right here that hold the headlight bracketry. This one here does. And that bracketry is also used to support the headlight all in all, but it's also used here to support the front plastics. So we're going to, we have those ordered. And they're going to be coming in the mail. Carburetor's all cleaned and sold. Everything has been aluminum brightened. We took the bolts and things out and just painted those back silver to make them not look so bad, make them look pretty good. Everything is clean. These ones are going to probably get new front tires on it completely. The 18s are going to stay. But as I did say in the beginning, these ones are going to go on the blue quad and have the blue with the silver. And then we're going to have basically a more black thing machine over here. 
everything is factory built. And if you're wondering what that oil is down there, that's just from I took some screws out and it had a little bit of leak. And when I painted the screws, I put them back in so it's no more leaking. But everything is more factory spec. Factory parts, starters, factory carburetors, no jetting, no anything, OEM exhaust, all that going all the way through. But yeah, we're basically on this one, almost close. We need to get another lever, another perch for over here. And I misplaced that little bracket down here that goes onto the clutch. So we're gonna get that replaced as well. But yeah, that's it. We're gonna be working on this here soon. This is one of my wife's friends. We're gonna see what's going on with it. It doesn't wanna move. It's some kind of clutch issue. So we're gonna work on that here. But I wanted to get these Raptors closed up. I got too many things open and apart. These three machines almost done, but still there. And I have my LTR that I've been working on in here. So, all right, everyone, this is gonna wrap up this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, share this video, and just like we'll just keep it rolling and you all can see what we're gonna be doing with these. We're gonna basically have one of each color, blue, gray, black, all back to factory from what they look like. And I'm eager.